All right, Sherry. Oh, uh, well, I guess you got three minutes. Are they there? She's yeah, Sherry's right here. That's not true. No, right here. I don't know why all these other people are popping up. <laughs> You said there's going to be a link available after this? Yeah. yeah. People can watch this. Yeah. We got all kinds of people already on. There you are. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you too. What's the good news? <laughs> uh, Lufthansa is still flying. That's good news. Yay. Yay. Okay. And you've had tours all year long over there, haven't you? Uh, I've had way fewer than usual, but we we had a group that just got back uh, last Saturday. Great. That's good news. Yeah. Now, does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask Jared, our tour agent? Anybody? I have. Okay, yeah, Mick? I'd like to know, because of the flight situation, if we are over in Israel and something should happen, what happened to us? Yes. Um. Well, we would get. We would get. I mean, I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna be with you all. So I'm in your this boat with you, so to speak. Um. We'll get flights out as soon as we can. Okay. Party at the airport. I hope everybody has insurance. <laughs> Although I don't know about yeah, policy. Yeah, friends you can stay with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, yeah, we would get out. All right. Is there any special place we're going that you wanted to tell us about? Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> we're going to Israel. Oh no. Best place on earth. It's definitely not my fault. Let's try to get that work. I have a question. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jerry. I have a question See. about your last tour that just got back Saturday. I was aware of that. Um, <clears throat> what was it like for them with all these missiles and rockets and alarms going off? They weren't. They weren't around any of that. They didn't see any of that because we. They didn't go anywhere near there. Um, the only little difficulty we had with them was uh, their whole tour was perfect. They loved it. Everything was great. Uh, they said there were hardly any other tourists there at all. So they got to see everything quickly without lots and lots of people. The only thing that happened with them was, um, you know, Iran started threatened, putting threats out and a lot of airlines canceled. So their flights were canceled. So I just had to get them new flights. That was the only thing out. But they didn't, they left the same day they were going to leave. But as far as her tour, it was, was fine. Pardon me, Mark? If you online have a question like Jeff, I was just telling everyone else who's watching online to jump in and ask a question too. Well, maybe hit raise your hand on the yeah. thing. Yeah. What question. So how are sure we're going, we're not going, or how do we know? We just keep planning to go and then... How will we know if something happens? Well, we'll tell you. What's the cutoff? Okay, well, uh, you know, but the decision is really made by Mark or the airlines. And right now, you know, Mark is saying if the airlines are going, then we're going. And so far, uh, United has canceled, but you all are on Lufthansa. This is one of the reasons I we, we chose Lufthansa, because they tend to be one that cancels. They don't cancel at the drop of the hat like some of the American carriers do. So um, Lufthansa right now is still going. Oh, okay. Air France is still going. Yeah, go. LL is still going. Um, uh, on the website for Lufthansa, it says that um, the flights to Tel Aviv are suspended until August 13th. Right. We don't go to September 1st. That's yeah. Okay. So yeah, they, they, yeah, last week they canceled until August 8th, and they've just extended a little bit. But yeah, so right now, I mean, I'm on the Lufthansa now also, and so is Mark, and uh, the, our flights are still on. I got flights yesterday on Lufthansa because I was on United, and United did cancel, and I switched our flights to Lufthansa, and we got them without a problem. So right now, everything is still a go. And right now in Israel, you know, my son, my son lives outside of Jerusalem, my son and my grandchildren, 
and they are living life pretty much as normal there. They really are. Um, we have this, you know, Iran has kind of got this threat threatening, but, um, you know, they're just living their life that they normally do. Are you saying we can't believe everything in the media? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Whew. Really. Is there anything um, that you might recommend or want to mention? Some of the things I'm thinking of is people that have food allergies or uh, medical-wise. Uh, is there anything you want everyone to know concerning that? Uh, yeah, if you, yeah. I mean, if you're very allergic, you know, bring an EpiPen. But um, the, the food there is all-you-can-eat buffets. So normally you can find something to eat that you can eat, but if you have any questions and you have allergies, it's good you can talk to the chef and ask, you know, what can I eat? I have this allergy, what can I eat? What should I stay away from? That sort of thing. And you can always bring snacks and stuff in your suitcase or your carry-on also for what the flight. Conversion? Oh, yeah. Should they get Israeli money before they go or at the airport or when? I think you should definitely have shekels with you for sure. You should get them at the airport before you leave the United States. There's a, they all have exchange uh, booths or counters. Just go up and exchange your dollars for shekels. You're also going to need some dollars because the bus driver will have um, water on the bus and it's a dollar a bottle and it's going to be hot while we're there and you're going to want to drink a lot. So bring some dollar bills um, for that. American dollars then? Yeah, American yes. dollars. Yes, American dollars. Um, and just so you know, if you're on the group flights, um, what will happen is um, after you go through customs and you enter baggage claim, there's going to be somebody there that has a sign that says Mark Biltz. Go to that person and she or he is going to say, go to car your luggage is on carousel, whatever. After everybody gets all their luggage, we're going to go out together. And then that person will take you out of the reception to the reception hall to meet the guide. Um, and then um, you'll get on, they'll take you to the bus and we'll go to the hotel. Okay. Now, if you're, you have your own flights, then you won't have the person in the baggage claim area with a, with a name. What you'll have to do is come out and then get a taxi. They have designated taxi lanes. Um, so just, make sure you use a designated taxi lane. Don't use somebody that comes up to you and says, oh, do you need a taxi? Not because they're unsafe, but because they'll probably charge you more. Um, if you go to the taxi, the designated taxi lane, they have the prices regulated. So you won't be charged more. What, what about keeping um, our electronics um, charged? Are there like charging ports on the bus or what, how do we charge it? Probably there will be probably but um probably it's, I, I don't know what bu exact bus we're having but most of the buses do have that and the buses have wi-fi but just to tell you the truth we're going to have like 42 people 40 people on each bus it's going to be pretty full buses so when everybody's on the wi-fi at one time nobody really gets a wi-fi if you want to know the truth so it's so you know i would Consider this like a vacation kind of. So try to use use your phone as little as you possibly have to. Most of the hotels will have Wi-Fi. But oh, all the hotels. Yeah, all the hotels will have Wi-Fi. Make sure so you bring an adapter. You're going to need an adapter. Um, the Israeli electronics or the sockets don't fit ours. Right. You can go to Radio Shack. Not Radio Shack. We yeah. can go to different places and online, and they will sell you universal plugs yeah. that you can plug in. So if you have like, I need to have a CPAP machine, you got to make sure your electrical stuff right. works. So, but yes, you have to go online and get plugs specifically for Israel. Wow, I didn't know that. Right. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Otherwise, you won't have and I, you know, if everybody should have gotten the packet I sent, I even have a picture of what it looks like in the packet that I sent. So it's just but there's an also adapter. a difference between it. But so you plug your thing in, and, and then that is the round. Yeah. Jeff has a question. Go go for it, Jeff. Well, I was trying to get um, the insurance through the suggested uh, carrier, uh -huh. and it wouldn't process me through. 
Yeah, they might not be doing that only because um, of the situation that's going on in Israel, possibly. I don't know. You may want to try another one. They may not. But um, yeah, you can try. Sometimes they, because of the... The main thing to realize, Jeff, if for some reason the plane's canceled, it doesn't matter if you had insurance, they'll reimburse you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I can't get, I can't get it to actually process me through to actually pay for it. That's been the problem How with the I one that was recommended. Speak right. Can I mean, anybody... You can call them. You can also call them. There's a number. I, think, I tried. Can... Oh, and they don't answer. Interesting. Yeah. Can I, just, can I haven't I... been able to purchase the insurance. Can any, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, oh hi. This is Nancy. I'm going, and I wouldn't even get travel insurance because they don't give your money back to you. Well, hey, yeah, it depends upon AIG, the situation. It depends upon the policy because well, many times they yeah. they do. Well, AIG said that in their fine print, if you go into a place that's volatile or whatever, then they already waive the right for you and it's canceled because of that. Then you don't get your money back. So I, yeah, I would. Yeah, just yeah. my FYI. I'm not yeah, that might this. that might happen for Israel right now with what's going yeah. on and that Jeff yeah. that might be why it's not going through. Yeah, I wouldn't even get it. So thank you. Uh, thank you. It's a man that many people it's their first time they don't realize they could be charged a thousand dollars for their phone bill unless they use their phone plan. You've got to call Verizon or AT and T and make sure you have a phone plan for Israel. Yeah, international. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And what, what, what about Viber? What's app? Just mean? call. What's just app? call the company. Make sure it works. Mm -hmm. it will be yeah. Everybody should call their carrier. Call your carrier, and then share. Download WhatsApp. Yeah. And then you. Yeah. Call. WhatsApp is a great app to make phone calls. And That's there's a good no idea. That's a good idea. Sherry, if that yes. uh, happens to the Tel Aviv airport, is there a secondary route out of the country via plane? Oh. Well. Um. There. The. A couple of routes out, um, Jordan, and uh, my group that just left, we had to take them out of um, Egypt. Wow. That's been done before. Yeah, yeah. All things are possible. Yeah, all things are possible. I have a question. Yeah. Um, uh, as we're out on the tour, going to see things and uh, all those places, are we going to be... Is there like a lot of steps and stairs and climbing? And I know there's a lot of walking, but is there a lot of climbing stairs? And uh, it depends upon where you are. There's more walking in Jerusalem, and there's probably a little more steps in Jerusalem than some of the other cities. But there will be some steps. Yes. <laughs> I mean, if you feel like you can't, if you feel like you can't do it. You can always wait, you know, on a bench and we, you know, we can come back and get you or you can stay on the bus either way if you really don't want to, you know, make the trek. You know, Jill, um, we might want to mark, I was thinking we might want to start a WhatsApp group for our group here. Okay. Um, which is really a good way, even while we're on the tour to communicate with each other about where everybody needs to be when and different things. So if you want to maybe set that up and send an yeah. invitation. Okay. But if, but everybody here would have to download. The, it's a free app. Download the app on their phone. It's called What's App, just like it sounds. W H A T apostrophe S A P P. What's App? It's free, and you can call. Like Mark said, you can call anyone in the United States for free, and they can call you for free. Through WhatsApp, okay. You have to have Wi-Fi to use it, but that's not a problem. You should have no problem with that. Yes. So would we need oh, an electrical uh, an adapter for Jordan? In Jordan, um, you can either use one from Israel. And I found the times that I've been in Jordan, um, if we have to go there, um, they uh, sometimes have the American plugs, too, in the hotels. But I'm hoping we don't have to go to Jordan. I know. Hey, Sherry. Uh... I have a, have a question. As far as uh, prescriptions, it was recommended to bring them in their their uh, original uh, container from the pharmacy. 
Now, some of these containers are huge where I only need, you know, a few pills. So that would take up a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, baggage space. Do we need to have them in the regional uh, containers or can we have the uh, pharmacy uh, uh, white papers on them? Yeah, if you have the papers, because really basically what that is for is if you have to get a refill while you're there. And okay. then the doctors in Israel will know, know exactly what your prescription is. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Or take a picture of the bottle or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a question about the medicine. So you, if you bring your own medicine in your original bottle, are they checking that at the airport kind of thing? No, or no, yeah, nobody is checking it at all. But if you do have medications, I would strongly recommend putting it in your carry-on. Yeah. Anything that, you know, I haven't had any problems with luggage getting lost for any of my groups in a while now, but it does happen sometimes. So anything that you absolutely have to have with you, keep on your carry-on. We have injectables. Um, I was trying to think of how I could minimize how much I bring, but a little small needle that goes on the injectable, is that going to be okay if I just bring a small amount or show you have to show them at the airport or is that anybody have a problem? No, it won't be a problem. What about liquids? Can I three ounces. Three ounces. Two ounces or three ounces. That's three three ounces. ounces. Yeah, three three ounces, three and a half ounces is it for liquids. Yeah. But three ounces for carry on each one. Oh, somebody's asking here if we have to go to Jordan or Egypt, do we need a visa? No. I mean we had to get visas for our group, but we, we do that if you have to leave the country. We do that for you. What about the speed check in line that they have? Yes, my last group, everybody on it got the, the e-visas, um, which we originally were supposed to have by August 1st. And then they have now, as I told you in the email, moved it back to January 1st. They said they just breezed right through passport control. What about the ones for the safety checks that you can breeze through? You want your eyes scan? Huh? Like clear or something? Yeah. Well, that's what you do if you have clear. That, that costs yeah. a lot of money yeah. and yeah. it's against yeah. your yeah. eyes. So and if you want what? CIA to watch your eyes, that that's oh. what that is. Oh. So no thanks for me. <laughs> Did anybody have anything else online or here? Yeah, we got this one. Okay, one more. What's this? What's, uh, what security is in place? Oh. Oh, what security? I, I lost it. What security? Let me find a chat. Oh, here's one. If for whatever reason, someone would not be able to go, our tickets transferable to another person. They are not. Yeah. Because if we've already paid, you know, we've already paid for everything. You know, the way tickets are once you, once you. I see you. Talking. Yeah. So I'm sorry about that. No, nothing refundable. Oh yeah. Let me look at some of these. Um, Tanya's got her hand up. Oh, the only this somebody's asking here also about um why the other group had to fly out of Egypt. The only reason they had to fly out of Egypt is because um just for like 24 hours, they didn't have any after Iran put that threat that they were gonna do attack, all the airlines canceled. That was the only reason. Um that they had oh, to fly. here. Sorry, I was just gonna ask a couple of questions. Um, do we need to take foreign currency for Jordan if that's what the plan is or not? No, no. I mean, right now, we should not have to worry about going to any country but Israel. We're right, hoping. okay. Yeah. But and no, you should be okay. And you okay. Have, everybody has a credit card probably, so you can use your credit card. And yeah, so it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So did you travel on ground across borders to fly out of Egypt? They did. They took a bus. Thirty. If you want to buy, it's a joke. Sorry. Um, and somebody here is asking about security, uh, for the Americans in Israel. Um, I mean, Israel loves Americans. So often the uh, driver, uh, has a gun. If you want to know the truth, um, so but, you know, we're going to be going places in Israel that are are safe. So, you know, that should not be a problem. We've been, I've never had a problem with any of my tours with security in Israel ever. That was the first. Yeah, there is. But, but, and like I said, usually the, the bus driver, you know, and plus they're watching, you know, each day what's going on here and there and then where we're, where are we going? And 
So we have people kind of watching that. Um, have you Tanya go? She's got her hand up for a while. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry, um, I meant to put my my hand down. Um, oh. I was going to ask Mask a, a question whether it was possible to bring some of his uh, material over, and I could purchase it from him directly. I know the postage to the U to the UK cost a lot. Sure, I'd be glad to. So, any of the Torah studies for 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 kids? Any of that uh, material that you normally mention on your? Uh, yeah, sure. Send us an email and tell tell them what you want. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Are there with in light of what's going on in the world, uh, Sherry? What kind of, I mean, as part of your company, contingency plans in case this thing turns into something beyond all of us? I mean, what happens then? We just try to figure it out, hunker down. What do we get stuck there? It's called trusting the Lord. Yeah. Well, I get I get all that, but I'm I'm a practical person too, That's and I'm just wondering that those conversations are taking place. Yeah, I mean, Always. if we have if we have to stay later, there you know we'll stay in hotels that are there, and you know, okay. we're not going to be left stranded for sure. Sherry sent out the link for uh, the visas too, so. You should apply online. So we didn't need and, you know, I'm probably, and what's probably going to happen, I mean, I think if if any airline thinks it's unsafe, they're going to cancel anyway. Right. I mean, just like they did, I mean, last week when there was a possible threat and nothing happened. You know what I mean? So I think, um, you know, again, like Mark said, kind of got to trust that, you know, if we're not supposed to go this time, then the flights will be canceled and, you know, we'll replan it again. I'm you need you guys, that. you guys will be first on, if you keep, you know, your registration, you'll be first on the list for next time. Because Mark usually goes every year. Could I ask a quick question? I don't uh -huh. know how, how it works with online. I'm sorry. I, how many buses are there going to be on this group tour group? Two buses. Oh, Two buses. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thanks. We have about 80 people. We're not going to have to take a six hour drive again, are we? No, I'm just kidding, Sherry. <laughs> Talking about Turkey. <laughs> when we were in Turkey. Oh, yeah. That and Israel fun. Israel's about the size of New Jersey. So right? you know, there's no play. Six hours, you'd be in another I, country. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I know. I know. <laughs> Is there a plan to go to the Temple Mount? Uh, yes, but again, we'll, you know, everything will, right now it's been safe, but you know, we'll, we'll look at it from day to day, but right now I, I believe it is on the itinerary. Okay. It is? I don't know. I have, I don't have the itinerary actually in front of me. I can look that up. Um, but if, I mean, I, we can look if anybody has it in front of them. I don't know if anybody has their booklet. Hey, Sherry, some people are wanting to bring gifts for some of those people that have to live in hotels or maybe the kids. Is there any place we can go where people that want to bring gifts can give them away? Uh, yes. Also, the other thing is, um, yeah, we'll definitely find a place. My son, like I said, lives in Jerusalem and he leads a Messianic Jewish congregation in Jerusalem. Oh, um, really? and, he, and we could also... Um, give whatever you all have to him and he can get it to people because his congregation has been helping um, some of these people that have been displaced. I have a question about getting to the airport on time, especially when we're going home. It's like a 4 a.m. flight. Yeah. So we'll pick you there. I know that, uh, you know, are we going to sleep? I don't think I could sleep. Do whatever you want. Time, so... <laughs> I mean, is someone going to knock on the door? What are we doing? Wake up calls. Yeah, wake up calls. Yeah. Okay. yeah. They're, they're wake up calls. You'll have a wake up call every day. The, the guide will tell you, okay, tomorrow we're going to wake up at 6 a.m. You're going to eat breakfast at 7 on the bus at 8, that sort of thing. And we really strongly ask that everybody be prompt and on time because if you're late and you keep being late, then you might miss a site just because, you know, the sites close at different times and so everybody really has to listen to whatever the guide says as far as being on the bus at a certain time. 
and not straggle too much, you know, if we're walking down a road, not straggle to look at this shop, you know, stay with the group. It's really important. Um, is there going to be a time frame for us to actually go shopping? Or yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. I want to be oh. on the shopping bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Super. Yes, Rick. Super. Yes, uh, I'm Rick. Uh, my name is Rick. This is my first time going overseas. So I had a question regarding that uh, visa, the Israel visa. Is that something concrete that I should be having? I did apply for it, but uh, I didn't know whether I should be carrying something. No, oh. no, you don't get any. Yeah. Once you apply for it, you right away get an email saying, okay, you're, you're in, so to speak. Okay. And you don't, you don't get anything. You're kind okay. of on their list that you're approved. All right. That's what I got. All right, then. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I've got and if, if someone hasn't done it, don't worry about it. Because again, they extended it until January. The advantage to doing it now is it's still free um, for Americans and Canadians. So um, that's the advantage of doing it now. And it's good for two years. How bad has this affected the tourism? Oh, you said it's, it's, this has been, it's been pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we so, normally do we normally do 30 to 50 tours a year probably 40 to 50 and we've done four wow so how are the um how are the israelis appreciating the people coming oh yeah they're very appreciative yeah very appreciative yes under the circumstances i would yes yes good could could you elaborate on that a little bit because um this is, uh, I know Israel has been at war for ever, but uh, this is pretty unprecedented in the circumstances they're in now. So if, if you're, if you've only done four, you know, only done 40, what are the circumstances that caused you to cancel the other ones? And what would internally cause you guys to cancel this one besides airlines? Um, I think the reason that we've only, we've had so few is because people think it's scarier than it really is. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. I mean, because I have family that live there and they're living there normally and they've been living there fairly normal since, well, right after October 7th, I think they were pretty shaken up and a little bit nervous. I was there myself in January and February for a month. Life was, is no normal. I think it's important to them to know that you didn't cancel them. They yeah. canceled you. Yeah, canceled. Exactly. Yes, we didn't cancel. We didn't cancel. Yeah, we never, we didn't cancel. They, they, people, I think, I think because it's partly because of the news and everything else. I mean, they make it, a lot of it, they make it worse than it really is. I mean, mm -hmm. when the whole Gaza thing was happening, groups don't go anywhere near Gaza. It's kind of like saying, oh my gosh, there's something going on. You know, here I live in Virginia. There's something going on in California. I better not go to the United States because there's this horrible thing happening in California, even though I'm going to be in Virginia. Um, a little bit exaggerating because the distances are, diff are greater. But, you know, it's, I think they were just, they're, it's, they don't really understand what it's like when you're there. My groups really. that have been, the, the groups that went, loved it and they never felt unsafe oh, one other thing you might mention is that when we go to some places like capernaum or the temple mount the ladies have to have their knees covered and shoulders covered yes yes um and the men too yeah yeah men and um girls you uh women you have to have knees and shoulders covered so that means no tank tops no shorts capris are okay Slacks are okay. T-shirts are okay. Anything with a sleeve, um, that's all. And only in those two places, Capernaum. And well, um, it's Capernaum, like you said, Temple Mount. It's any place. Um, supposedly Mount of Beatitudes. We're not going to Mount of Beatitudes. It's mostly. It usually ends up being sites that are churches right. are the ones that more uh, are like that. Except Temple Mount, of course. Um, but we'll let you know ahead of time. The night before, the guide will let you know, tomorrow we're going to such and such a site. Make sure you have your knees and your shoulders covered. Jerry, are there laundry services available in case we need something? There are, but they are expensive. And some of the hotels were not in them very long. 
So um, lots of people, they have these clothes lines, a lot of the hotels across the bathtubs. Lots of times it's better if you, you know, wash it out yourself, but you can, you can have it sent out to be laundered. They do have services. Most of the hotels do have it. And it's 90 degrees. You'll be able to drive fast out. <laughs> where, where? <laughs> when, when we were in Turkey, I hung it on the balcony. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, somebody's asking, is there a protocol for leaving tips? Oh, um, percentage, should it be in shekels? Um, Okay, the tips are already taken care of in your the cost of your trip. Uh, the tips are already in there, and I take care of that, and I give all the tips out, so you don't have to worry about tips at all. Um, how many, how many guides are we going to have? Just one two? for each bus. Yeah, one, one for, for each bus. bus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Somebody's asking how many shekels to bring, how many dollars. I mean, a lot of it depends upon how much extra you want to buy. But usually, I think two hundred is enough. Two hundred dollars in shekels is enough. Again, you can use your credit card. Now, there's some places I recommend not using your credit card, and we'll let you know ahead of time. You know, like if you if you go to the Shuk for some reason, the marketplace, I wouldn't use a credit card there for sure. Definitely, you'll need cash. Um, but a lot of places take your credit cards and and dollars. Some places we even take dollars. How um, many yeah. people, Sherry? I mean, do are there are they? I, this is a benign question, but are there people over there that are looking to uh, take advantage of the tourists everywhere we go? Um, the one place that is we always warn people is um, the Mount of Olives. Um, mm -hmm. So, and the, and the guide will explain that to you. We usually ask everybody to kind of bring leave everything on the bus. The bus is actually a very very safe place uh, because the driver is going to have it locked at all times. So um, the bus is very safe. If you leave any kind of any valuable on the bus, it'll be fine. But they, at, at the te at Temple Mount, sometimes you really have to kind of watch it because they have um, actual pickpockets there. But are the buses them all bulletproof? Are the buses <laughs> bulletproof? I I don't know. Not all of them. I don't think I've ever gotten that question before. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. I'm afraid of nothing. Let's just get it done. Go have a good time. <laughs> Come back, talk about it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a miracle that I'm even going at all. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm hey, done. Uh, Can I go a now? A bit more positive. Yeah, I mean, we're we're going to the place of God. I mean, I'm. let's go. <laughs> Bonnie, you had your hand up? Yes, I was wondering, what would be the average temperature on the days that we're there? Uh, it's going to be hot. In the 90s and 80s for the yes. Life. Yes. Uh, let's see. I have it on my app at any given time, what the temperature is in Jerusalem. And uh, this is, of course, it's nighttime there. And it says it is. So it's going to be this week, 86, 87, 89, 89, 89, 87, 90, 90, 92. Oh, super hot. So it's going to be warm. And, you know, I really, I mean, I'm, I'm a registered nurse also. I was that first. So I really strongly keep saying, drink, drink, drink. If you start getting a little tiny bit of a headache, it means you're dehydrated. That's the first signs of dehydration. Start drinking. And then if you get dizzy, you're really dehydrated. So you really need to drink a lot. And it might, it's not also a bad idea if you wanted to bring a bottle, an empty water bottle in your suitcase because there's lots of places where you can fill up your water bottle with clean water. And you wouldn't well, have to buy a bottle of it all the time. For some of us older folks, are there bathrooms <laughs> on the bus? <laughs> there are no bathrooms on the bus, but we stop as often as needed. We're and I'm usually the first that. one. I'm usually the first one that needs it. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm old. Well, I am old, so. I got to have a bathroom. <laughs> Question? Yeah. Um, when we go to the Jordan River to be baptized, are you, yeah. you going to baptize us? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm curious about jewelry. Ah. Are valuables, jewelry, and that sort of stuff? I, I personally, about jewelry, this is something, I'm glad you brought that up. I 
wouldn't bring any jewelry that's valuable. Not not because it's unsafe. It's just why you know it's it, Israel is an extremely casual country, very casual. People do not even dress up that much for weddings. So you don't need to have a lot of your you know necklaces that have diamonds and sapphires in them. I leave all that stuff at home. I even have a wedding ring that's not even real that I wear when I travel. When I go to Greece or anywhere or Turkey, I you know I just I don't travel with a lot of jewelry. Well, not only that, it'll ruin it in the Dead Sea. Yeah, really? it will. You cannot <laughs> wear it in the Dead Sea. Ruin it in the yeah. Dead Sea. Even gold. Well, yeah. everything you have to say. Even right. gold. Yeah. Wow. So, so, so. wow. so I have permission to tell my wife that I'm not going to be wearing my wedding ring in Israel. <laughs> no, don't tell her I said that. <laughs> Question. Yes, yes, Susan. Does that, does that include smartwatches for jewelry? Or can you um, wear No, you might want your watch. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. It's up to you. But again, you might want to be careful. You know, just be careful like you would anywhere. I mean, it's, it's the same as if you travel anywhere, whether you're in right. Italy or Greece or anywhere, you know, you, you got to be a little bit, a little bit wise in what you do. Right. But I mean, I don't think I would necessarily leave my watch at home. Any other questions? Do hotels have uh, like irons and hair dryers? Ah, all the um, hotels have uh, hair dryers. And a lot of the hotels in Israel have what they call an ironing room. And it's one room where there's an iron and an ironing board. And it may be on your floor. It may be a floor below you. But you can just call and say, where do I find an iron? But there's always, yes, an iron somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I will watch you with Let's give a shot. <laughs> All right. We're well, looking forward to uh, seeing you. Yes. Thanks. Amen. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you right. very much and goodbye. Bye. We'll keep everybody posted. You know, if we if things are still a go, we'll see everybody in Israel, you know. Um, and if anything, if we find out the flights are canceled for some reason, I mean we know the reason. The flights yeah. are canceled, we'll let you know right away. And you can rebook on the next one or you know, whatever. So, yes, so you can bring your Bible. Uh -huh. Yes, you can bring your Bible. Yes, you bring your Bible. Yes. Yeah, okay. definitely you can bring a Bible for sure. For sure. The only place you cannot take a Bible is on the Temple Mount. Well, thank Bye, you. everybody. Bye. Thank, thank you, Sherry. Look forward yes, to seeing thank you, you again. all. Thank you. Bye -bye. If you have any specific questions, feel free to email me. Okay. Sherry at Yosha Tours. I'm happy to answer anything. Thank you. The ocean is salty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't think.